Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Kagem. Okay guys, this video is going to be a rant. I'm about to go off, okay? So you just have to bear with me. I'm so upset at Louis Vuitton for their shenanigans. It seems like they are deciding to take a leaf out of Chanel's book. So if you watched my video yesterday, I kind of alluded to my experience with LV. Um, I had been trying to order some stuff. Um, obviously, I live in Tanzania. There are only three boutiques in Africa for Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton Johannesburg, LV Cape Town, and LV Morocco, which is in Casablanca. So I was like, I want to support, you know, the African boutique. I want to support them. And maybe I should just order it from there. I already have solved this situation. Don't worry. I have a way to order it. It's not a problem. So I'm just going to order via shop and ship. So for those of you who don't live in remote places, shop and ship is very simple. You just like order your products. You send it to a address that's owned by the courier company. The courier company pick it up and then forward it to me. So I figured this out because obviously LV Johannesburg don't want my money. Okay. So I've had to come up with another solution. So basically what I've decided to do is that, and I have come to that because of how LV Johannesburg have treated me and also LV in general. So I had sent some emails before and they were like, yeah, we can't make this happen. And then they were like, oh, actually, hold on. We can like forward your request to LV Johannesburg and they'll get back to you. And initially I was like, should I call? They were like, no, 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 you don't need to call. We'll call you. I'm like, okay, fine. Or we'll email you. So I waited to get the email and then I got the email and the email to me, I'm just like, I just feel like luxury brands don't really understand that how, how much they're missing out on big opportunities. I'm not saying I'm like a top dog or a big shot. I'm not saying that, but I read her email from this woman. I don't want to say her name. It was properly from a, an employee of LV Johannesburg saying, Hey, like, thanks for reaching out. We're sorry for the delay in getting back to you. We cannot ship. We don't ship abroad. We don't ship to any of the countries. If you need any more help, reach out to me. It's like, why even bother sending the email like that though why even bother saying that because you don't even want to help to make it happen so why bother it's just so fake it's so stupid it's so pretentious i read that email i was really disappointed because i think i said in my previous video i wanted to order the alma bb for my mom i wanted to also order the dauphine mm and i wanted to pick up a few other bits and bobs from lv for myself and critically which is the most important thing my husband's birthday present this is what I've been trying to organize. It's in that LV like group there and his birthday's coming up in a few weeks. So I have got to get this thing ordered. So here's me thinking I'm doing the right thing by like supporting the South African, um, boutique, but it turns out that no one there wants my business and they don't care. So I went on the um, LV website today and just checked like the details of the Johannesburg boutique. It's in Santon City. I've seen it before and I've been to Santon City. The one in Cape Town is in this um, place called the V&A waterfront. So on the Johannesburg bit, it says how they're doing appointments only. So you can't just walk into the boutique. You need an appointment. And I'm like, that's fine. That's probably for C19 because they definitely didn't have appointments before. And I know that to be true. But I'm just like, I just can't believe that you didn't even want to make this happen. For those of you who aren't from Africa, I feel like I need to explain a few things to contextualize why this is so irritating. Johannesburg is the center of tourism, like luxury shopping tourism in Africa. Many African people from all over the continent love going to Johannesburg for the weekend to go shopping. I am telling you this right now as a Tanzanian, it doesn't matter from Tanzania, from, from Nigeria, if you're from Ghana, if you're from the DRC, Congo, Kinshasa, all African people who have disposable funds and who like to go shopping, who like to have a good time, love spending the weekend in South Africa. So when you go to Johannesburg, particularly when you stay in this um, area called Santon, which is like a very upscale area of Johannesburg, it's kind of like Knightsbridge for those of you who are from London, you will always find other African people like, hey, I'm from the DRC. Hey, I'm from Kenya. Hey, I'm from Tanzania. Or, hey, I'm from Nigeria. I'm from Ghana. I'm from Cote d'Ivoire. 
And I just think it's so wild to me how they didn't even want to consider trying to make it happen. My motto this year is I'm the queen of making things happen. Like I will make it happen. I'm going to do what it takes to be successful, to be happy, but I'm not going to take no for an answer. I think it's so wild and crazy that they think that this behavior is okay. I'm so disappointed in LV for this. I'm actually really, really ticked off at their customer service. It's terrible. So for anyone who is dealing with LV and you have to like send emails and stuff, don't bother dealing with these people via email. They're not serious. They don't care. They don't want to help or make anything happen. So just to remind you, like, um, don't worry, I figured out how to order my LV products. I'm going to order them anyway. I know that there might be some of you like, okay, well, why are you gonna order from them if the experience has been bad? Well, the products are beautiful. And I, I literally have two people who I love to death, my mom and my husband, who I wanted to get very specific gifts. And I, had, I was like complaining about this in a luxury fashion group that I'm part of on YouTube, um, not YouTube, let's say YouTube, that I'm part of on Facebook. And they were like, haha, you know, they're like laughing at me, commiserating, but laughing because they just know these shenanigans from LV. And they were like, ha ha ha, why don't you go back to the ultimate, you know, queen of shenanigans, Chanel, and do your order over the phone? I'm like, that's cool. I'm going to do my order over the phone for the trendy, but I was not looking to get the trendy. I wanted to get the stuff from LV so I could hit three birds with one stone. I'm so disappointed in their customer service. If anyone works out over you watching this, your customer service is whack, okay? Don't tell someone that, hey, we can't like service you, we don't want your business, and then you're like, oh, by the way, let us know if there's anything we can do. Well, obviously you don't wanna do anything, you don't wanna make it happen. By the way, as someone who does miss business, I am not a time waster. I would never have reached out to them if I wasn't sure that I was going to buy. Like, I'm not that person, I don't need to like, reach out to them. Of course, there are all these like annoying window shoppers. As someone who used to own a boutique, we used to get them all the time. I understand that people are annoying and disrespectful and very irritating with that. Like, oh yeah, I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy, and then they don't buy. I'm not like that. I was so disappointed and mad at LV for this because I think that they're missing out on a huge opportunity particularly because they have three boutiques in Africa. So imagine for those people who live in Morocco, let's say someone lives in like, I'm um, trying to think of a country that's close to Morocco. Okay, for example, let's say someone lives in West Africa. Okay, someone lives in Cote d'Ivoire. It doesn't make sense. It makes more sense to order it from the Casablanca boutique and have it shipped to their West African country. But you're telling me that that same person needs to order it from the store in London have it shipped to a address in London, and then the courier company go pick it up and then ship it to that person in Cote d'Ivoire or in Benin or in Gabon. Like, come on, it's so corny. And I just can't believe that LV would bother opening three boutiques in Africa, but the same African people who want to buy from you, you don't want to service them. It's so disappointing. It is absolutely BS. I'm not done with LV Johannesburg. I'm telling you this right now, okay? <laughs> because what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna order my products, it's fine. I will just order them from the UK site. I'll ha have it sent to a shop and ship address. That's fine, it's not a problem. I'm gonna be getting my LV products, honey. It's fine. But when it's time to go to South Africa, when the doors have opened, when C19 has calmed down, I'm definitely gonna go there and buy, buy some things. But I'm also gonna let them know, like, your customer service is not cool. And the fact that you don't even wanna service other African clients, when I know for a fact that the LV Johannesburg store, Nigerians and Ghanaians have kept that store in business since the day it opened. And no one can tell me different. I know that to be true. So it's so disappointing to me that they didn't want to help. They, they didn't even, you didn't even give someone the courtesy of being like, hey, can I speak to you on the phone? Maybe we can work something out. What can we do to ensure that you can get your Dauphine, you can get your Alma BB and you can get your other products. Like they don't even extend a courtesy call. This is so whack. LV, you're whack for this. I am so annoyed about this and you know, some of you might be like, okay, well, why would you like make a video about it? it might ruin opportunities for your channel. Guys, I'm, I'm not doing this channel for money. I'm doing this because I love shopping. I love luxury brands. And I'm going to talk about things which I want to talk about. I'm not worried about ruining an opportunity for sharing an opinion of something which I have experienced. And if they have a problem with it, that's fine. I don't care because 
whether this channel doesn't affect my ability to like live and to eat. So I just want to put that out there because in case someone asked me about that, but this had me so upset. Like I was actually way more upset than I realized yesterday because when I read the email after coming um, home from work, I was like, oh, whatever, you know, because I had other work things I needed to do. And then afterwards I was like, oh my gosh, I am mad. This is so bang out of order. How can you not care? And I think it's just the flippant way they write their emails. Like they, they have like this form thing and then you can see they just edited it. Like, hi, Kagam. Sorry for the delayed response. No, we cannot ship to any other country um, of outside of like South Africa for Louis Vuitton Johannesburg. Please let me know if I can help you again. It's like, you don't mean it though. You don't actually mean it. This is stupid. LV um, customer service is terrible. You guys are whack for that. And very, very disappointed, like more disappointed than I realized. I'm just venting and sharing my opinion. You can share your opinions, share your experiences with luxury brands. Tell me how have your experiences been? Have they been good? Have they been bad? Of course, you have good and bad experiences with most things in life, which is fine. I'm just really shocked at the inability to try and make things happen. And then in the luxury Facebook group, people are like, ha, 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 call Chanel. Take, let Ch <laughs> Chanel will take your money over the phone. Ha, ha, ha. But LV are blanking people via email. So whack. If you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Drop me a like, guys. I'm trying to get to like at least five likes per video at the moment because I'm trying to grow my channel please drop me a like, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell if you love shopping, luxury brands, high street, all that jazz. I'm mad as F. I've got another video coming <laughs> tomorrow. Um, it's actually almost the end of January because the final week of January next week, I did say in January I'll be doing one video a week. Um, one video a week. I'll be doing one video a day except for Sunday. So it's been an interesting experience creating so, many, so much content. But after January, I'll go back to my regular schedule of three videos a week. So please make sure you subscribe and let me know your feelings in the comments because a girl is mad, okay? And I'll see you in my next video.